Good morning from Fort Kochi. We are staying in Fort Kochi Beach Inn. And this is the view in front of our stay. Hello everyone, welcome back to our last episode of our Kerala road trip. Today we started our day with this amazing view of Fort Kochi Beach. We walked to this beach from our hotel which is just 5 minutes away. This morning we are at the Fort Kochi walking on the beach. We do have an escort. Here is our escort and she is leading us. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Take us. <laughs> wow morning views amazing the best way to experience the beauty of fort kochi is by exploring it on foot our morning exploration leads to this beautiful beach where people are walking and running and locals are fishing and even go to watch the fresh fish is auctioned on the beach walk and this is where locals come to buy fresh fish. The main attraction of this beach is Chinese fishing net. Unfortunately, we did not see Chinese fishing net in action. But we enjoy locals fishing on the beach. After a great walk on the beach, we decided to take a different route to go back to hotel so that we can explore the streets of Fort Kochi. Here you will notice the beautifully restored colonial homes which have been converted into hotels and some are converted into bookstores and antique stores. oldest churches built by the Europeans in India is this St. Francis CSI church which is located so close to the beach. When the famous explorer Vasco da Gama passed away during his third visit to India, his body was buried at this church till it was taken back to Portugal after 14 years. We are back to the hotel getting ready to go for the backwater. This morning we check out from Fort Kochi Beach Inn. Um, our goal is to go to Kumaragam houseboat. So we are on our way. You know, it's morning so we decided to have some breakfast. So we stopped on the way. It's, it's still at Fort Kochi. We stopped and we are going to have some breakfast. So here we are. Here we stopped some bakers and caters and restaurants. So we are going to have breakfast or one of the place no ravne palmberry kokyo what else we need when we have the palmberry we just done with the breakfast i totally forgot to take the video of our food because we were so hungry and we were eating Trying to eat fast, but yeah, that's why I forgot to take the video. Anyway, that was really nice Kerala meal, and we are getting ready to go back to our van. We'll see you at Kumaragam. Our Kerala road trip will not be completed without houseboat experience. So we decided to rent a houseboat for a day. Here we are. We're gonna go to the houseboat. Looks like this will be ours. So this is not the one. 
When we arrived, we were greeted by the driver of the houseboat and also got a welcome drink. Here is the little fact about houseboats in Kerala. In Kerala, this houseboat is called Ketuvalla. In Malayalam, Ketu means tied with ropes and Valla means boat. In olden times, the houseboats were the only modes to carry spices and food items. But now, they are preserved and promoted as a tourist attraction for pleasure rides. was very experienced and so knowledgeable. He's been doing this job for 20 years. But COVID really shaked their business. They had to shut down the boat ride for one whole year. Now slowly things are opening up and people start to rent the boat. Our driver gave us so many informations on the way. I thought it would be fun to share with you all. This lake is called Wembenard Lake, which is one of the largest lake in Kerala and the longest lake in India. Here you see a resort which is called Coconut Lagoon Resort. The only way to reach this resort is through their private boat. So they use their own boat to take people back and forth. We also learned about so many birds and animals around here. That is a snake bird called by the locals because of the long snake-like neck they have. It seems like when they go underwater to catch fish because of its long neck, it looks like there is a snake under the water. We go to see the place where boats are built and also do the maintenance work. in the boat ride today. We started from Kumaragam and going to the Vembanad Kyle right now. This is the Vembanad Lake and uh, I don't know and then we will come back to Kumaragam. So it's kind of a day trip from 10 to 6 p.m. We actually reached a little bit late as usual, a couple hours late. Um, yeah, so, so far it's been good and we are getting some snacks. There is a place we stop. It's called Sipunkel and we are getting some snacks and we are, if you want to get some seafood, more seafood like tiger prawns or some other things, we can get it from here and the cook in the houseboat will cook it for us. So it's pretty neat so far. We decided to get any prawns or crabs. We thought we'll eat what they have in the boat. So they have some kind of palm fruit. It's kind of mean. Some kind of palm fruit fish and chicken and some other veggies. Haribina. Once we got back into a boat, we got our appetizers and our fun begins. When the lunch time, the driver dropped anchor along the shore to have lunch. 
and the cook made amazing fresh food in the boat itself. Having this amazing food in the boat and watching all this beauty around us, it's something that we are so happy to experience. The food was really, really yummy. We just done with the houseboat that was really a good experience we had almost like little over five hours and they took to quite a long way it was really fun the food was really good they um, gave us welcome drink then they gave us lunch and even chai and snack so it was a great experience I'm glad I did it see you later